I knew I should have brought a map. These are the offices of the National Geospatial Information, or NGI, in Mowbray, Cape Town. Hi there. May I please have a topographic map of Signal Hill? Thank you. Have you ever wondered how a topographic map is made? The first task is for a surveyor to determine the position and height of photo ground control points, which are features that are easily identifiable on aerial imagery. If there is a trigonometrical beacon in the area of the topographic map, those values are used to determine the position of other points, such as photo ground control points. South Africa is fortunate to have TRIGNET, our continuously operating global navigation satellite system, or GPS, base stations. A topographic map relies on excellent aerial imagery, or vertical imagery of the Earth. An aircraft flies over an area at a predefined height and flight path with a mounted digital mapping camera. NGI uses digital imagery taken with a very high resolution, greater than 120 megapixel digital mapping camera. This is a state-of-the-art camera and produces images that are geo-referenced using GPS. Once images are acquired, software back at the office of NGI will determine orientation parameters that will enable 3D stereoscopic viewing of the terrain by the operator to extract terrain heights and contour lines. From this information, a digital elevation model, or DEM, is created. Being able to view an image in three dimensions allows us to view height and this is critical in making a topographic map. We need to interpret the valleys, the mountains and the topography. A map is more than just a representation of topography though. There are hundreds of features, text and information that is essential in making a map useful. Imagine you are a rescuer executing a mountain rescue in a particular ravine. You would want to know the steepness of slope and for this you would look at the contours. You may also need to traverse a river or give the precise coordinates to a hovering chopper. A topographic map will provide all this information. We therefore need to interpret what we see on the aerial image and place it correctly on a map, such as a newly constructed breakwater in the Nuha area near Port Elizabeth this is an update to an existing map. An advantage of digital mapping is metadata. For example, mapping metadata would include the length of a river, the size of an airport, and other characteristics that may be too onerous to be included on a paper map. Land use and land cover is very important when producing a map it is essential that we know what is physically on the land and how it is used. Land use such as high urban density, grasslands, orchards or nature reserves must all be recorded on a map and it often takes a good interpretation of the photo image to correctly identify land use. A topographic map, whether paper or digital, is indispensable to so many industries such as surveyors, engineers and recreational users. Visit the offices of National Geospatial Information and collect your topographic map.